Hi, I'm Sushant Veer. In this video, I'll be talking about training vision-based motion planners accompanied with probably approximately correct generalization guarantees. This work was jointly conducted with Anirudh Majumdar at Princeton University. Machine learning-based components are increasingly being deployed in cyber-physical systems that interact with the real world, such as autonomous package delivery, driverless cars, and perhaps in the future, we'll even have robots working next to us in our kitchens. But before these systems are deployed among other fellow humans, we need to find a way to quantify and regulate their performance. So the natural question that arises is, how do we certify the performance of these machine learning based components prior to their deployment? This paper addresses this overarching challenge in the domain of robotics. In particular, in this paper, we train vision-based motion planners that are accompanied by guarantees that ensure that the robot will succeed with high probability when it is deployed in novel environments that were not seen during training. We achieve this using the pack-based generalization guarantees. We assume that the environments on which the robot is trained and tested are drawn from an underlying distribution D. In the example of robot navigation, the environments could take the form of building layouts. To prevent overfitting, rather than minimizing the training cost, we would want to minimize the true cost, which is the expected cost of deploying a policy P in any environment E sampled from the distribution D. It is worth noting that we do not know the analytical form of this distribution and we might not even know the domain on which this distribution is defined. So computing the true cost directly is not possible. This is where the pack based generalization guarantees come to a rescue. They provide an upper bound, CPAC, which is composed of two terms, the training cost and a regularizer. We can then obtain a policy P by minimizing this upper bound which would ensure that the true cost is also small. The main technical challenge that appears here is providing strong generalization guarantees. As we are working with rich sensing modalities such as vision, we have to use convolutional neural networks with thousands of parameters. As the size of these networks grow, it becomes more and more challenging to provide strong pack-based bounds. We overcome this challenge by using motion primitives. Each motion primitive corresponds to a low-level controller that makes a robot follow a desired trajectory, as shown in this picture on the right. We train our motion planner to choose among a family of pre-designed motion primitives instead of producing a low-level control action at each time step. Using motion primitives helps generalization by injecting knowledge of the robot's underlying dynamics in the learning process. We also developed a training algorithm that leverages powerful algorithmic tools such as evolutionary strategies and relative entropy programming to provide strong generalization bounds. Now, let's use a framework on a couple of robot navigation tasks. This first task is of the navigation of a quad rotor in an obstacle field using onboard vision sensors. Here we achieve a performance guarantee of about 78%. What this means is that on an average, the quad rotor will get across 78 to 79% of the environment before it collides with an obstacle. The estimated true performance is about 81.5%. In this example, the quadrupedal robot Minotaur must traverse this rough terrain to reach the goal line which is shown in red. Our pack-based generalization guarantees ensure that the robot will be able to traverse 70 to 79% of the rough terrain before it either falls down or the time horizon runs out. The estimated test performance is about 83.2%. These two examples demonstrate the efficacy of our approach to provide strong generalization guarantees for training neural networks that serve as vision-based motion planners. Thank you for listening. If you have any further questions, please stop by our interactive session.